you know, when before, back before I ever came on YouTube and I was living pretty much decades as a Galatianized believer saved at the age of nine and uh, just didn't know how to grow up in him and and abide in him as far as just resting in Christ. You know, I had my moments, but for the most part, I was very Galatianized, thinking that the way to live as a Christian was to try to obey his commandments and repent and rededicate and try to clean the outside of the cup, basically, in my, in my, clean up my flesh. And I didn't, I wasn't starting from that firm, you know, that firm foundation of just resting in Christ and abiding in him. So I just didn't have a whole lot of growth during that time. And I remember I, I read a book. It's about, you know, a man, it's quite popular, a man who says he spent a certain amount of minutes in hell as a believer and that the Lord took him there so he could come back and warn everybody and tell him what hell is like. Um, now I know that that book was very unbiblical. And, but what it did, I remember when I read it, I was so impressed and I it scared me and it made me want to clean up my, try even harder to clean up my flesh, right? And and tell everybody about Jesus, but I didn't even ha know how to tell people to really rest in Christ. I wanted to give them a mixture of a backloaded works gospel, and, and I read it to my husband, and, you know, I was just so impressed, and I thought, man, if that doesn't make you want to live right, I don't know what will, and, um, but it, all it did was, it didn't increase my faith, it didn't get me resting in Christ. It didn't use his word. Um, told me nothing about, it didn't reaffirm my identity in him and, and reassure me of his finished work. All it did was temporarily light a fire under me to get me trying harder to clean up my flesh and try to put that burden on everybody else as well. And there's a lot of people that are trying to say, you know, well, God is using this and that to bring people to Christ, or even if it's unbiblical, and it doesn't line up with his word. And I'm, I don't believe that the results they think they're getting are quite what they think they are. And I know God can work in spite, you know, through circumstances and in spite of circumstances, because he's God and he's awesome. But is that really the ideal way to do it? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And the gospel message is what saves people. And his word is what grows them up in him. Not fear porn. And you know, I was thinking, so if you hold a loaded gun to people's heads, there's a good chance some of them are going to get saved right, right at that moment. But is that, is that a ministry? Does that constitute a ministry? And say it's okay for everybody to keep doing it because it's getting some results? You know, we think about that for a little bit. Um, you know, it, there's, there are a lot of things being done in the name of Jesus Christ that are not bringing glory to him and not getting people grounded and resting in him. And, you know, the Lordship Salvationist, if you go back and read the origins of that, they decided to teach what they're teaching. They decided to pollute the gospel and backload it to get results. And it might get some visible outward results like the Pharisees, but it is actually doing damage to the insides of people and doing damage in the long term. And I'm sure that there are lots of people that think they're saved that are not because they got saved under that type of false gospel. So we are not to worry about the results. We plant the seed, we water, and we let God give the increase. And the only foundation you can lay and the only seeds you can plant are the good seeds, the incorruptible seeds of Jesus Christ. And we point people to him and we describe him and let people be drawn to Christ and grow up in him and in his word.
on a sure foundation. Have a blessed day.